Hello, welcome. So, yeah. Uh, first thing I want to say is fuck Atari. They are such a far cry from what they were before. And uh, welcome to Blood. As you can see, the freaking title screen just literally drips blood. You are somebody who gets reincarnated. And uh, you blow up zombies and cultists with dynamite and other cool weapons. So uh, I guess we're just gonna like get into it. Okay, so here are the episodes. The Way of All Flesh, Even Death May Die, Farewell to Arms, Dead Reckoning, Postmortem, and then User Maps. I think Postmortem's like a new thing, or is it uh, something from Cryptic Passage? I don't know. But for now, we're gonna go with like the very first episode, The Way of All Flesh. Um, difficulty settings, these are weird. Okay, so generally, if you just want like the regular experience, uh, you go lightly broiled. Still kicking is the easiest difficulty. Pink on the inside is sort of like their medium. Lightly broiled is the ideal difficulty for single player because once you get the well done and extra crispy, uh, well done basically increases the HP of your characters. Or rather, it increases the HP of your enemies, making them kind of like bullet sponges. Well done and extra crispy are made to be done in co-op and not single player. But today we're going to do made to order. Which basically me made to order is a custom difficulty setting. So player damage taken, medium, enemy health, medium, enemy count. We're going to put that to very high. We're going to put all damage to just medium. But I'm going to set uh, attack aggression to low. Because uh, the cultists have a very annoying tendency of literally shooting at you the moment you peek into the corner. So that's not... Which, uh, yeah... It's I, I kind of want to make it slightly a bit more Doom where you actually have time to react. Tony Horks is great. Wait, who's Tony Horks? Okay, TNT aggression, low, bone eel aggression, gill beast. Yeah, you know what? Let's set all of the let's set all of the aggressions to low. Hand damage aggression. Yeah, let's set that to medium. Fire aggression. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll just set everything. Uh, we'll set every cultist setting uh, on aggression to low. Oh, Tony Hawks. Oh yeah, Tony Hawk is amazing. Always has been. Yeah, we're everything else. I think yeah, the Guild Beast, the Bone Eel. I think they're okay. It's just the cultists that really get to ya. Dude, Tony Hawk is amazing. Uh all right. But so this should be pretty much the uh, yeah the old games pretty freaking good. It it's a shooter with creepy stuff. With cultists and stuff. But yeah. We're gonna play this is like uh this is pretty much lightly broiled with less aggressive cultists and lots more monsters. Anyway, I'll just start the game. It's time. Welcome my servants. My slaves. Yep, it's a boomer shooter. Made in 1997. I disavow you all. What the? What? <laughs> <laughs> Taken your love. Now I will take your life. That's 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 our protagonist. In a hollow grave. That's our protagonist, Caleb. I live again. And so here we are. I live again. So take up take the secrets. Take your dynamite. So yeah, our first weapon is a pitchfork. He's bald. Everybody's bald. Even the zombies are bald. These are the zombies, by the way. I could waste a stick of dynamite on them, but why would you do why why do that? Why would you do that? Ooh! Body armor. Draven. Oh, League League of Legends reference right here. 
League there, there's your League of Legends reference. Yeah, tapos na. It's over. Ne joke lang. League of Legends has been around since 1997. It just manifested in blood. See? The moment I peek out, the, the guys start shooting at me. Okay. Then have dynamite. That's pretty easy. Literally just throw a stick of dynamite at them. They die. Okay, we get our first weapon, the flare gun. But... I know there's a cultist hiding in this corner right here, so I'm gonna blow it up with dynamite. But first we'll take care of the zombie. Hey Pekka, what's up? Wishing you lots of fun as Caleb. Ooh! I like fun. Okay, see? He did. You can pretty much pitchfork these guys, honestly. That's an impact TNT. Oh, the way TNT works here is actually kind of weird. I know. The way TNT works here is kind of weird, but I like it. Okay, so that cultist had the skull key. Alright, now the hard part. Actually jumping onto this gravestone. And then, fuck. You gotta jump on this gravestone. Jump on top of it. And then... Fucking hell. Cultic has even more TNT options. We'll play cult I'll play Cultic after um I'll play Cultic after Blood. There we go. Secret is revealed. I have guns akimbo, but I don't really care for it. Fuck God damn it. I should have saved. I should have saved. Okay. We're saving right here. Because you can actually walk through the fence. And jump, but no. Sometimes the jump is unresponsive. Okay, this time the jump was responsive. Ah! Ah! Wait, 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 wait. There's Kabumi thing. There you go. Ouch. Ow. Okay, well, that didn't work out. Double pitchfork. I wish they had double pitchforks. That'd be fun. Okay. Oh, shit. Eh, he died. I see you. Ow. Ow. Holy crap. You see that? Even on, even on low aggression, these things. Ow. What the hell? See? Even on low aggression, they do that. Maybe I should have just set their aggression to like very low. I don't even... I barely have the time to react to them shooting the shotgun. Yeah, the difficulty in this game is insane. Yep, it is. And I already customized it so that the cultist aggression is, is low. Apparently, it's not low enough. Oh well. I forgot how to like figure out how to count kills and uh, where the skill and secret count is. Turn it higher. No. I think we're fine. Uh oh. I've only got like 12 HP left. I'll take my vi I'll take my beast vision secret. I believe in you. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, I'll take that body armor later for now. Uh, jump out. Take the life essence here. And then I'll probably take the second life essence. Where the fuck are you? Okay, part of me thinks maybe I shouldn't have the viewpoint change on, uh, hang on. Slope tilting. There we go. I'm gonna turn off slope tilting. There, now it's kind of less disorienting. Pestis cruento villa maxus pretecu- Ah, uh, shit. Is that something they say? I don't remember. Open anymore. for business. Welcome to Morningside Funeral Hell. Oh, hey. Zombies. Hi, what's up? You got any life essence for me? AKA your hearts? 
Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. I, I forgot about closing the door. I should have closed the door. He's not dead yet. Okay, now he's dead. Normally, these guys would give me shotguns by now, but no. Also, yep, there, there's a bunch of rats in there. And now they're dead. But could D be deader? I don't know. You gotta try really hard for them to be deader. I still haven't gotten a shotgun, by the way. It's all just flare gun and shotgun shells. Back to Tony Horking. Alright, thank you for dropping by, my good orange. Son of a bitch must pay. Eh, son of a bitch must pay. Oh, you can turn on the lights. Cool. Ow. God damn it. Okay, that takes care of one. Ow. That takes care of one. Uh, I forgot what this does. Oh, it's the fire armor. See? Level one and I'm uh, the very first level of the very first mission and I'm already at I 20. Need a key. And I'm already at 28 health. Very nice, right? Uh, oh, shit. What the hell? Wow. Died on the very first level. So yeah, that was blood. That was blood. That's blood, everybody. You guys want to die? You guys want to die in less than twenty seconds? There you go. Okay, you know what? Let's do it again. But this time, can we set this thing to very low? I'll I'll take all the uh, the, the aggression of every other monster is fine, but like the cultists have stupidly high aggression. I'll take the I'll take the accuracy fine. We'll take it at, at medium. I don't care. I just don't want it to be overly aggressive. Anyway, let's try that again. I live again. Let's try that again with slight with even lower difficulty settings. Ow. How'd I get hit by that? Disrespect. The disrespect. Oh! I do love how the zombies sound, by the way. I do love. Nevermore. I do love how the zombies sound. Oh! And I do love the gratuitous amounts of, well, blood. Come on. Come on. Ow. I blew myself up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I blew myself up. Okay, maybe we could lower the shotgun accuracy? Nah. Let's not. I live again. So how many times are we gonna hear, like, uh, how many times are we gonna hear, I live again? Probably more than one. Uh, more than three times. Let's find out. Yeah, yes, I gave myself, I gave myself one hell of a kaboom, a blowjob. Dynamite. Okay, let's try that again. This time with less um, blowing myself up and more blowing the enemies up. I gotta say, I really love the design of the enemies in here. Come on. Okay, did I blow him up? Oh shit, shotgun. Alright, I got a shotgun. Okay, I'm happy. I got a shotgun. I'm happy with that. And also, I blew up that cultist. 
I mean, honestly, I could throw a stick. I, I could throw a bundle of dynamite at this guy, at, at these zombies, but I like saving ammo. I like conserving ammo for thing for when you really need it. Also, hey there, Narwhal. What's up? What's up, everybody? Okay, this time, for real. Okay, you noticed me. Of course I did. It takes time. It takes time, but I will notice people eventually. Of course I did. You have a VIP badge on. Homie got that bacon brain. Of course I do. You have a VIP badge on. How could I not notice you? I'll give you all your proper shoutouts when I if I finish this level. Yeah, don't worry. Eh? Have you scheduled more tests yet? Nope. No, 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 no. I think we're done with the te uh, I think we're done with the test part. Okay, one way to like not get shot too much by the shotgun called this is to crouch for the blood god. Well, I guess. Ow! Right, I forgot there were rats in there. Ow! Ow! Stop fucking biting me. Okay, I think all the rats are dead. Cool. Awesome. Great. Man, you just stopped Ratatouille from happening. Oh, no, don't worry. It gets worse. Nine months, baby. Meanwhile, I'm dying. Don't die. The best advice you will ever get from me is don't die. Also, thank you for the resub, Rice Bowl. Also, hey there, Echo. What's up? You know, I can stop Ratatouille from happening again. Uh, there's a section in this level where I can do that. Give me a second. Give me um, give me a cool minute while I find it. Uh, hi. Wait, where's, where's the shotgun guy? That's bad. I can't see shotgun cultist. Oh, he's here. You know what? I'll just keep say. I'll, I'll just save scum. Keck, just finish up cooking some dinner. Been playing a lot of fillers lately. I like my new sub badge. Yep, I like it too. There we go. Are they dead? Are all of them dead? No, no, they're not. Not all of them. That guy's still alive. Ow. Give me your life essence. And holy crap, there's another guy. It was my first CRPG experience and I'm gonna finish all the quests in the game before playing the sequel. I have not yet played the sequel. I have not yet played the sequel. Okay, so... You wanna see... You wanna see fun stuff? Watch. Oh crap. There you go. I just... Now I've... Do, uh, now I've truly ended Ratatouille. There were like 20 million rats in there and now they're all dead. They've all been blown up. Okay, we're gonna use the sawed off for the meantime. I've got like 20 shells for it. Oh crap. Oh crap. Hang on. Yep, you gotta use the TNT. The sequel looks fun, but it he it's gone to a different direction compared to like the first game. I've heard that too. Hey, a doctor's bag. Eh, I can spear them. Eh, eh. Okay, so how do we switch items again? I forgot. Uh, what was my holy crap? Yep, it's exploration and sea ship. So I've heard. 
How do we go to the next item? Or medkit? Oh right, it's medkit. M. Right? There you go. Okay, there's a secret in here. I have to be very quick. But you get a life seed and now I have 183 health. Also, activate the saw, get more flares. How do I know these secrets? I played this game before. Up to a certain up to a certain point, but I play I have played this game before. Hang on, there's gotta be a way for me to show um let's see. Field of view, show messages. Where is the okay? Genuinely speaking, I do not remember where they put the uh, kills and secrets. Eh, whatever. I'll find out later on. Also, you think Mon Gordon Ramsay can hang in the Monday Night Raw roster? He was training on taking bumps. I mean, he is like a legitimately trained martial artist, so I don't see why not. Oh, more flares. My god, you gotta pay me to accept that DLC. Uh, do I just like throw dynamite? No. Wait, did I did I hit him? I do not remember hitting these guys. I'll just use the shot. Okay, if I remember correctly, I can blow myself up and run up to a certain building in there so I can get like a really cool weapon. Let's try it. I think I could jump? Oh shit, I got it. I got the napalm launcher. Holy crit holy shit. Okay, uh Is that are that is that all of the secrets? I gotta remember. Alright, well. That's all of the secrets. Am I missing something? Nope, because I actually play DND. I I enjoyed my time with the first pillars of eternity. More so for the um more so for the combat. The story oh, I kind of the story I could kind of care I, I couldn't care less for it uh, or uh, I didn't really like the story all that much apart from the fact that the the dude just wants his wants to sleep. Not the kind where we're so uwu -woo quirky, no, but we're loot go goblin murder hobos. Okay, that's uh, the same scum version of me ending this level. Yes, I got everything. Okay, before I like continue, um, I actually have a bit of dinner here, so let me just take a few bites. Also, it's legitimately weird that levels in Doom with 26 monsters usually have only one, two, or three secrets at most and have zero. This thing has like 26 monsters and 11 secrets in one level. That's peak 90s FPS design, baby. <laughs> 